know, we're often criticized in Mississippi for being last in a lot of things. But today, we can be proud because what we're celebrating here today is we're number one today. Maybe not now. <laughs> and our goal is to provide the most efficient, the most modern, the most advanced technology in terms of being able to meet the needs of today and tomorrow. With regard to renewable generation, uh, it's very important to have units that are very flexible and responsive to the fluctuations that you see with solar and wind, and these units are an ideal fit uh, for that purpose. My name is Dan Shelledy. I'm the Senior Business Development Manager for Varsala in Houston, Texas. I've been with the company for 10 years and been involved with selling our power plants across the southeast U.S. So our main focus is to enable uh, renewable energy and with the intermittency of wind power, solar power, you need engine plants that can be flexible and fill in the gaps of that intermittent power. So this flexibility is provided by our reciprocating engine technology. My name is Trey Cannon. I'm Director of Generation Projects here at Cooperative Energy. My area of expertise includes handling the implementation of capital projects across our generating plants, and I've been with the company for about 13 years now. Cooperative Energy is a generation and transmission electric co-op. We're a not-for-profit company that's responsible for providing all of the electric power needs of our 11 member distribution cooperatives, which are scattered out across the state of Mississippi. So as Cooperative Energy began the process of, of constructing a new power plant with reciprocating engines, we selected the Bendale site for a number of reasons, one of those being it's located in the far southeast corner of our own transmission system. And it's very important to maintain generation resources in this area, and it's also very important to have Black Start capability in this location. The Wurtzilla engines provide that Black Start capability and that reliability in the event that our transmission system uh, was to have a major outage. So let's talk about the, the power plant we're here to see today. Uh, we can start with the, where the natural gas comes to the site. There's a regulation station that produces the pressure of the natural gas. That is moved by pipeline into the power plant. And once we enter the power plant, we are actually looking at the main piece of equipment in this facility which is the reciprocating engine. We have a 20-cylinder Wurtzilla 31. Uh, this is our natural gas-fired engine, and this, this uh, engine is directly connected to a generator. The ABB generator will provide the, uh, the power for, for the grid. Uh, some of the other features of this engine include the, the turbocharger. So the, the charge air coming into the power plant is compressed by the turbocharger and that gives the high efficiency of the, uh, the Wurzilla 31 engine. In fact, we have two-stage turbocharger which gives the, the additional compression over our former uh, engine technology. Some of the other features of the uh, reciprocating engine, uh, we have the front end of the engine, there are direct drive water pumps for cooling water, both high temperature cooling water, low temperature cooling water, and also direct drive pumps for lubricating oil. All this uh, it contributes to the high efficiency of the Wurzilla 31 engine. So the new Bendel reset plan is very important to the Cooperative Energy fleet. We operate in a very competitive MISO market where flexibility and efficiency are key aspects of the units that get to operate and generate revenue. The Wurzilla 31 SG technology meets both of those criteria in flexibility and efficiency. I would say that these units here at Bendale have run almost every day that they were available. They have cleared the MISO market and served us very well. I'm Dale Runceville. I'm plant superintendent for Moselle, Silverina, and this facility, Bendale. 
have 33 years of experience with corporate energy and power generation. One of the reasons this is a valuable resource for cooperative energy is before Wartzilla, this very site played a very important role when Hurricane Katrina devastated the Mississippi Gulf Coast. We were able to get power back to our members very quickly, and I remember especially getting that power to a local hospital. So with the new Wartzilla engines and with their Black Star capability, the ability to start up quickly, it will help this plant to remain a key asset for us in the event that we have another natural disaster such as Hurricane Katrina. So this plant will help Wartzilla lead our customers to those goals of 100% renewable energy. Whether it's implemented as a resource to provide that flexibility to support renewable energy or for reliability, the this asset can enable both flexibility and reliability for the future.